Hi, Jolie O'Dell again, and my life has been insanely busy lately, so this is just a super quick video update um, about C Sharp, actually. Uh, so yeah, I was out riding horses on our ranch all last week and had no real Wi-Fi access to speak of. Um, so the C Sharp training has been going a little bit slowly. I hate that. Um, I hate that being busy means that I have to put some things on a shelf or to the side. However, I wanted to share a really cool tool that I found um, that you might or might not be able to use. I don't know. Uh, mobile apps for C Sharp and other developers. The computer app that I use for learning C Sharp is called Plural Sight. I believe I mentioned it last time, um, and it's extremely effective and cool and fun. However, um, I can't really take my laptop with me everywhere I go, and it's kind of problematic to use Plural Sight, say, on the train when I actually have like a half hour of free time and I'm like playing Angry Birds like an idiot when I could be learning something. Plural Sight has an Android app, and this is also an excuse to gratuitously show off my gadgets. This is a Samsung, I think it's just the Samsung Tab 10.1. It's the new one that you can't get yet, nanny nanny boo boo. Um, I got it at Google I.O. So it's huge, it's like a little narrower than an iPad, um, and yeah. So this is the Plural Sight app, which is actually just their Android mobile app, but it scales really well for the tablet. And here you can see the, there's the .NET category, bing! And within the .NET category, you have C Sharp Fundamentals down there. Let's see, can you see it? Yes. That is the course that I'm taking. And I already did the introduction to C Sharp, so I'm going into Classes and Objects. And in this module, I want to teach you about... I'm on the train watching my Classes and Objects module on my little tablet. And it also works on the Android phone, because the apps are one and the same. Um, you just touch the screen to pause it. So yeah, uh, the Android app from Pluralsight is going to help me get back on that C-sharp horse and keep learning about development in my dwindling spare time. Yeah, so this weekend I'm traveling down to LA, so hopefully between getting to the airport and being at the airport, I should have time to go through classes and objects and maybe another module or two over the weekend. So yeah, by the time I get back to you next week, I'll totally be an expert and have everything on lock. Talk to you soon. Wish me luck. If you know of other apps, mobile apps especially, that are good for developers, please let me know. Bye.